now here. Welcome back to a new vintage toy unboxing. Um, one of the last videos, I'm not sure in which order I will upload that, but maybe the last video, I unboxed like tons of My Little Ponies that I bought online. And I already uh, hinted that um, I have a next unboxing, which doesn't include any My Little Ponies because I unboxed them the last time, um, but some other vintage toys. So yeah, let's just uh, get into it and start with the very first box. I don't know, let's start with uh, this one because um, I think this is a box that I already had last time where there were ponies in, my little ponies. And I said, I hope that this is the one. Yeah, that's the one. And I said, oh, and there's another pony, but it's not a My Little Pony, but it's also not a fakie. I will show it to you now. Um, maybe some of you maybe guessed that already, that it might be a Keeper's Pony. Yeah, this is the small uh, baby Keeper's Pony. Keeper's, um, a toy line by Tonka in the uh, late 80s, so I guess this is from year 87 or something because this is the second wave of keepers. Um, they were different animals. Uh, some of them were ponies, but they were like ladybugs and, and tortoises and um, bears and snails and, and all that stuff. And all of them like either an adult version where you can really um, with a key open it up like at one of the parts and then store some of your your secrets in there and the babies like this one they were all like smaller and they were like a piggy bank you know you could open here and then put money in or your whatever your jewelry whatever you wanted and at the top at the bottom you could open it and this uh, keepers baby uh, horse or pony it actually is very common you find it like all the time you could say but it was missing in my collection and it was like included in this one pony lot where she didn't probably know what it is but uh, does it say it actually says keepers tonka corporation da, 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 da. i will show it to you up close i mean it is dirty but uh, i don't spot any like major flaws that can't be fixed so the hair is still a little bit curly and nothing is ripped out or, or cut. Here's the tail. You can also see that this is different than with pony tails. Um, they, all of these small um, like strands of hair are rooted here. So ponies have like one solid pole and like uh, all of them is together. And keepers, the keeper's horse has these rooted uh, tails, same as the mane. Um, some of them, uh, especially the horses, also had these um, like ribbons coming out of it, of the mane and the tail, and uh, glittery eyes, which hints uh, at the fact that it is a, a like um, a wave release. But I guess the ponies weren't even included in the first wave of keepers. Um, yeah, lovely. Now this box is empty and maybe I can grab the box that so make it a little bit consistent <laughs> because this is like a big box here there are two things in I don't know one of them kind of goes with this newspaper stuff and the garbage bag, <laughs> but it's uh, not garbage in there. I haven't had a look at it yet. Uh, oh, I've never seen this color variation. It's also a keeper, that's why I wanted to grab this box first. Let's just put it somewhere here. And I really, really like these like adult uh, keepers as well, but they are really huge and I don't have so much space. So that's why the only ones I have uh, in, in the adult form are the horses. And one of them is like, it's complete and it's a very good condition uh, that I bought that um, for a little bit higher price. 
and then I have found like two more of the same horse uh, one thrifting and one uh, at a flea market for a very cheap price so I have now three of the horses kind of I'm army building the keeper's horse and I have this one but this one is really another color variation so this is not from the same um, let's say set as this one um, because this is a like wave three uh, keeper's horse so it has def definitely different colors the other one is like in this um, white and um, white purple light pink hair bloom color variation and this one like it's really dif dif different it's it's not discolored or anything it's really yellow and like different shades of pink uh, the scalp is the same as with the with the other horses the horse was called diamond and um, this one doesn't really have a name as far as I know it, it goes by the name of gold pony because in, in this uh, set there were I think two others um, in other co color variations of this horse so um, one of them is a the silver pony or whatever I don't know this is the gold pony and can you see it has a music note here because it should actually be uh, a music pony it's also called music pony and I am not exactly sure how this is a music pony does it really do anything musical is it really does it really make sound because it could be I definitely have to look into that because actually I don't see any like um, like, like any uh, holes where the music could come out so maybe it's just called music pony because it has a note on here um, when I edit the video I will probably have researched that editing low here well I really try to find out um, what it is about this music theme um, of uh, this keeper's horse it seems it really wasn't musical at all it has just a note it also uh, was there was also released a um, jewelry theme and the music theme but it wasn't able to play any music i guess because i can't find out anything and there's no switch and nothing what i did find out is that well actually this uh, third series of keepers was um, exclusively um, produced just for the european market so it's euro exclusive and also it wasn't produced by tonka anymore it was produced by kenner from that point on um, but there were actually um, ponies, uh, horses in the same mold. They were able to play music, but they are not keepers. They just have the same mold. They are released a little bit earlier, like uh, 88, um, called the Dream Pony or Musical Dream Pony. Looks very similar. It's not a keeper. This one was able to play music. Um, my gold pony keepers music horse, apparently not. And obviously a lot of things are missing, like all the, the accessories like that come around here, the um, halter in German. And the key to open and close it really, the brush there. Uh, and I think these uh, didn't include the um, finder. Uh, the earlier ones included like a little like companion, friend, um, and these didn't include that in, in general. So. Uh, so another keeper's horse for my keeper's horse collection. This time, at least another color variant variation. Okay, it really looks good. And also, it has like not only um, purple hair but also like um, pink hair as well. It looks very like greasy. And mm -hmm, but let's see what I can do with it. Um, the keeper's um, um, hair quality is actually the same as pony hair, as far as I can tell. Can do the same stuff it reacts the same like completely different than um, what for example the Mattel hair is uh, from that area so area era era I want to say um, let's keep it going with this big box because there's another thing in there not a keeper but something else and together they were like um, in an eBay auction and I was just like oh that's that's both of these things are interesting let's just um, try to to get it and I was the only one bidding on it and uh, got it for a good price so Ta -da! <laughs> oh, they are. oh my goodness yeah the hair is a little bit but I think I can do about it this is a um, snuggle bounce 
um, or in German Knuffelbund. They were made by a play school um, in the early 80s, so 84, 85. After that, I think the company changed. It was done made by MB or something. They are these, yeah, you don't actually know what they are, these little creatures uh, with this um, like troll-like hair, so it's more like um, furry, have like fur, it's not really like a, like a brushable hair. And this is the Papa of the family. So it's a whole family, there's a mama and a papa, they are like various children in different colors and uh, they are smaller, so this one is quite big. And um, I think that was a princess one which had like real hair, like real hair, like brushable hair. And I already have the mama sitting here. So now mama and papa are together. Uh, I think uh, he was called Papa Brightly? Oh, let's check, I have a... Oh no, Gently. She was Mama Brightly, I think, and this is Papa Gently. They actually are a light-up toy, and I tried it out with the Mama, and I put in batteries and all that stuff, but it's just not working. It's not working. You can also exchange the light bulb that's in there. I haven't done that. Maybe it's that's why it's not working. Um, here's a big battery compartment at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know, it probably, I mean, they are very old. So I have no, no idea, 84 it says at the bottom. But, um, like it was, uh, I think I bought these two first, like um, online, they were lying now in this box for kind of a long time until I got around filming this video. And then I saw her in the store, like when you, when you saw me uh, going through all these crazy toy stores in Berlin. And um, I picked her up knowing that I already have him uh, purchased and now I have mama and papa and I guess that he is probably also going on this shelf um, so cute uh, I have actually like from like uh, my childhood I have no, no memories of this existing because I'm born in 88 and these are from 84 so 84 that time they weren't even around uh, in the area where I was actually born because I'm actually from the former DDR like I'm born in this country that's no longer existing because then like Germany reunited both parts together the west and the east part I was born in the east part and I know that the um, eastern uh, German uh, old uh, toys they were I don't know looking kind of very different to what western toys looked like but they uh, had actually a kind of knockoff of these um, Snagglebums or Knuffelbunds uh, if I find a picture I will put it here because I think that's really uh, interesting toy history wise that uh, actually they were doing their own thing like completely I mean I just lived like two years or one year until it's really nice I can't remember I grew up with all the Western toys like My Little Ponies and stuff like that so but um, as my family is from the eastern part of, of Germany like it kind of is always interesting to me what they grew up with and, and those toys so um, Maybe uh, you remember the video where I uh, showed you like the, the GDR toy museum part of one of the stores. Yeah, anyways, just uh, toy history things. Let's, let's continue with the um, boxes here. Um, okay, let, let's do this small envelope here. I know what's in there. And it also has to do with the, um, the day when I went to all of those local um, thrift toy stores in Berlin. And I purchased something to complete one of the purchases there. And it's, it's, it's doll clothes. What could it be? It is the dress. It is the... Oh yeah, cool. It is the, um, the original dress for the Lady Lovely Locks villain character that I found in one of those shops. It's the dress for um, Duchess Ravenwaves. Uh, of course, I have put her somewhere here to show her again. This is her. She came when I found her in a, I don't know, a sack, <laughs> something like a potato sack of um, something homemade or something super old Barbie. I have no idea. It didn't fit her, so I just like get, picked her up like in, in another clothes, which also didn't really fit her, and I was like. Maybe I find the dress somewhere online and then at first I just found it um, 
like from America for like an insane price of like around $40 and I was like Pfft. I'm not purchasing the dress for $40 when I got the, 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 the doll for, for not even 10 it was like 7 I guess I got it for 7 or 6 or something and so no but then I was like maybe I shouldn't always search in English uh, because uh, Lady Lovely Locks uh, this toy line is from uh, Mattel from the like a late 80s so uh, starting in 1987 uh, I guess yeah 87 um, and she's from the first wave she is the villain character um, and yeah it was also released in, in the western part of Germany back then but under another name of course so I searched for um, Lady Longlicht and she's also another name, she's called, um, not Raven Waves, but um, Rabenstein, Gräfin Rabenstein. And I just searched for German and, and of course something came up on eBay, the dress as well for six years or something. All for, of course I got it, let's put it on. Let's, let's, at first, oh no, let's, let's put it on and then I show it to you on close. Ah, uh, yeah, two snap buttons. And of course it might not be in the super best condition because this, this material here is a little bit um, frayed because it's a little, little, little. It more it reminds me more of those Korean uh, dresses let's, let's show it. with this super high uh, waist here and then this super flared skirt I maybe should iron it a little bit at the back it has these two snap buttons and here's a glittery lace color and then this uh, kind of see-through uh, chiffon fabric but it's a stretchy one yeah it's a stretchy one I was even considering already um, making my own dress for her but nah, way better here it is already ripped a little bit maybe I can just stitch it together with some hand stitches oh she's cute and as I said in the video when I showed her, um, showed you already uh, her, like the doll, I said her hair is like the best quality hair I've ever felt at a vintage toy, uh, not toy, vintage doll, let's, let's not say it like that. I, of course she's missing all of her accessories, for example the shoes, she also came with a comb, a purple comb, and, oh, can you can say that? And two of those pixie tails, where they were not called pixie tails, you know, those small uh, creatures with a um, strand of hair that you could clip onto them. I think for her, because she's, she's an evil character, probably. Um, they were called pixie comp gnomes, or they were like gnomes and not pixie tails. So, anyways, um, oh gosh, the purple dress complements her purple eyes perfectly. Um, yeah, next box. We're already almost 20 minutes in, um, but this video shouldn't be as long as the pony one because it's so many boxes. Um, yeah, I think I picked the, the order in which I opened them quite good because this now kind of goes with her. Not with her, I mean with the dress, but anyways, of course with her. Um, I haven't, I haven't had a look at it. I've never seen one in person. This is also from Lady Lovely Box. And it's one of those hind peak uh, small pixies or whatever you would call them. They are actually just called hind peaks from the Enchanted Island uh, wave of Lady Lovely Locks. So, also, um, there were three uh, of these small dolls. I've like sculpted on clothes so that they don't have like a fabric cloth. Um, so they are not really from the doll line of Lady Lovely Luck, so more like the pets and friends. And they are like hiding peaks, they are hiding among the, the flowers and, and uh, they are super shy and bashful and they just come out when Lady Lovely Luck and their friends are like calling them or want to see them. And it's, um, as this is a purple one, uh, she's called Sunny Peak. And then there were two others, um, one blue and the other one's pink. They also had names like Perky Peak or something, uh, always something with Peak. This is Sunny Peak. 
so great. I purchased um, the two of the um, Big Brother ponies from this um, seller and then I was like, uh, she also had listed her, uh, but without the price, more like ask her for what, what she wants. And usually when people don't really say a price from the beginning, it's like mm, they uh, probably want a lot. But I had such a nice conversation with uh, with her about like, yeah, I will um, like about the ponies and yeah, I will, I will um, take care of them and they will have a great pr um, place in my in my herd and everything. And and then I, I just asked her, uh, what do you want for the Lady Lovely Locks um, pixie? I didn't even know the names then, the Heidi Peaks. And she was like, well, mm. but you're so nice. I, I would give you, um, Da, da, da. I don't know what the price is and then I was asking I maybe she asked for 15 or, or 12 or something I asked could you make 10 and, and then we, we we agreed on 10 and I, I she included her and oh, she will look so cute among my lady lovely locks uh, display and she's also purple so she oh, this this is like purple heaven here right all of that like can you even see that yeah I guess you can see that Okay, I have two boxes left, both are yellow, <laughs> um, but and both have also like the same toy line in there. It is something that I usually don't purchase online because I think they are ridiculously priced at the moment. Not only at the moment, I mean maybe they are generally ridiculously priced. Um, I found mo most of mine at flea markets or I got them as a present from friends and stuff. But then I found two auctions online, both on eBay, and um, I was like, okay, I might just try to bid on them for a price that I'm okay with, and I won both of them. So, ooh, it's the first time um, I'm, like, I have um, Polly Pocket Mail! Ooh, and what really drew me to those is that they are I can already hint already um, uh, tell you that the in the other one is also a compact. So it's one of those like when I, when I say compact, I mean like a closed mm, a closed uh, box and it was just a shape and just when you open it, you see what's what what kind of word is in there. Um, most of them that I found at flea markets actually are those houses, those that are already from the outside, you already see it's a house or it's, 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 a, it's a, I don't know, a ranch or whatever. And, uh, wow, the pony is actually included. That's, that's, that's something special for me. I never have the matching pony. I don't even know if it's a matching one, but probably, right? Should be. Maybe it's another one, who, who cares? There's a Polly Pocket in there. Um, this is, I will show it to you uh, up close, just in a second. This is the Polly Pocket Fashion Fun um, uh, Compact from 1992. Uh, and I, I think it, it just came with one Polly Pocket and then with two hats that you could put on the Polly. Maybe it's a different Polly Pocket, I don't know. Um, so it is this fashion boutique. See, there are those know, presents, this is not presents, more like boxes, probably with hats in there, and dresses, like old school, what you would think of a, of a cool fashion boutique. And then here are all the, like, the waiting chairs when someone here is, if this, this turns, um, when someone is putting on a dress, and the, the friends decide, oh, you should get that dress, oh yeah, that really suits you. <laughs> oh. It is in a very good condition. There's a little bit of dirt. I could probably clean that up easily. Um, and the outside. Yeah, there's there's a tiny bit of yellowing at some some spots, and the gold is not as um, yeah, like the shiny as it used to be. Um, but I'm very, very happy. I, I can't, I can't say anything else. That's, that's, it's a little bit difficult to display Polly Pockets. I have found a way. When I show you my next uh, uh, room tour, I will, I will show you how I display them because I've decided to not open them and display them. How? Uh, that's what I did often when I had them over here. But I have them now in one of my new um, glass cabinets. 
and I found a way to display them also closed. I will show that to you um, in a future video. Just let's open up the last poly pocket. Yeah. I have to say I also bought another one on eBay which never arrived. Mm, but I guess it just I have a send like I have a, a tracking number and the tracking number is like it somehow got lost and I haven't found out anything yet so it was a very cheap one um, but yeah that's probably lost I don't want to think about it I would have had three to show to you but at least I have two yeah maybe you can already see the color wow nicely wrapped bubble wrap that's how you do it this one wasn't like as good. I mean, it was also in bubble wrap, but the box was it was really squished in there. Anyways, it, 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 it's arrived. Wow, this looks this looks also really good. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt in the in the uh, letters. Bluebird Toys, 1989. So this is from the very first year of Polly Pocket releases. Um, a lime green heart. Know if this is a darker one because I guess this one was released in two different um, like variations. Also a darker variant, but I think it's, this is the light one. And it is not this color whatsoever. Looks perfect. This is actually the Polly's um, Pony Club one. Let's open it up. <gasps> What's that? It also comes with two figurines. Oh my god. Let's 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 open them. That's crazy that the seller even wrapped those individually. I mean, cool. So they don't rattle in there. That's, that's probably the thought behind it. Um, so when they're rattling in there and everything, then of course their faces can rub off. And um, I always pre-open everything beforehand. That's the, so so I don't have like a a lot of uh, box opening and stuff to do in the video. Um, oh my goodness. So, so it really probably comes with the the two um, figurines that were included in the set. This is a horse. Oh, of course, I will show it to you up close because you can't see anything. Um, with a riding um, child on it. Let's just put it here where it belongs. And then this must be the Polly Pocket. So it is a horse stable and a included a house. Um, so the upper part is the house of Polly Pocket or the flat or whatever and the lower part is the horse stable. Is this really the one belonging to it? Because she she doesn't look like she would go on a horse riding tour. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know how I uh, let's let let's let's maybe leave it in there, put her somewhere here and then I show it to you uh, up close. Inside is more like primary color, so not that, that um, super pastel one because it's also this a little bit um, stronger blue. Here, the couch, and then here's the stairs that go down, probably to the kitchen, and then you would go to the stable. Okay, the stable also has pink, so. <laughs> um, here's the poly doll. I don't know, I have to check if she is really the one uh, that belonged to it. Because for, to me, she looks like she is having like a mini dress on. That's, that's not very appropriate for horse riding. Um, and here's the horse. Maybe I show it to you like separately with a child on it. Probably a child because it's smaller than Polly riding it. But it's detached, uh, attached, detached, or whatever. <laughs> it's attached to it, so you can't like um, put it like separately from the horse. Very good condition. Very, very good condition. And I'm super happy because I got them for good prices. I mean, not not cheap, cheap. I didn't like get it for a euro or something, um, but I also didn't pay 30 euro. Let's, let's say it like it somewhere in the middle. You can maybe guess what, what I paid for it now. <laughs> um, yeah. Also here, a little bit of um, 
um, paint rub of the uh, gold and there it is, there's something between those letters but I'll probably can kind of move that otherwise in, in one of the best condition polys that I've seen uh, honestly the ones from my friend from Zenia they are in even better condition <laughs> they are the best that I have um, wow let's just also display it like this and yeah that, that, that's it that, that was my vintage toy unboxing which didn't include any My Little Pony um, anyways a little bit late to say that but if you're new to the channel my main uh, vintage toy collection is vintage My Little Ponies generation one but from, from that I, I started collecting them like in 2014 or something and not really actively just one and two there or something and just this year with the, this whole like crazy life situation that we're having like no conventions are happening because I'm actually also a cosplayer I'm going to conventions and stuff nothing of that is happening all of my holidays were cancelled so I was diving totally into a toy collecting and from, from, from my little pony you can see that's actually in front of it but you can see a little bit of my um, vintage my little ponies there are also newer my little ponies I kind of branched off from that into other toy lines like as you can see this here was like Polly Pocket, Lady Lovely Locks, Keepers and Snuggle Bumps. Snuggle Bumps being the, the very new one adding to my um, adding to my toys, to my vintage toys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really shows me that you do like these kind of videos. Um, I personally like um, my uh, life toy hunting videos the most. Um, but it also feels good to just sit down and do like a haul or a unboxing video. It Have a nice day. See you real soon and may the force be with you. Bye. Oh, there was nothing Star Wars in here. It's still a huge Star Wars fan. So may the force be with you. So always. Bye.